guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a long time since I've sat down and filmed a video in general. I feel like I'm always doing vlogs or, yeah, vlogs or just videos not like this. It's cold up here, I'm gonna turn real quick. So for today's video, I thought I would just sit down and talk. I know you guys love my Get Ready With Me's. I was didn't know if I wanted to do like a Get Ready With Me chit chat or just like a voiceover kind of like spring makeup routine kind of dealio. So we're doing the shit chat kind of version because a lot of you guys like these and I like catching you guys up with these. I like doing these a lot. Also, how do you like my headband? It's keeping my hair out of my face and it's like a towel. So it's like my hair is wet right now. So it's like really helping. Awesome. Oh, wow. Just, yeah. Okay. So I don't have a list of things that I want to talk about, but I, I'm pretty sure I can find it, <laughs> come up with some things. So yeah. So I'm just going to do my makeup and chat with you guys and I'm gonna try my best and tell you guys what I'm using every time I do one of these videos I suck so hopefully I can tell you guys what I'm using also I think I'm gonna play some music on my speaker um at the end kind of like I do all the time and just share with you guys my current favorite songs either that or I'm gonna do like a driving with me but I think this way is better so yeah I have my makeup in this basket for lately I haven't been wearing much makeup just because I want to give my skin a break you guys can tell I'm breaking out quite the bit, but I went to a dermatologist and I have, <coughs> sorry, I'm, I'm also kind of sick if you guys can hear my voice, but I went to a dermatologist and she's <coughs> dropping everything. She prescribed me some medication and some stuff to help my acne get better because it is kind of hard to manage. If you guys have acne, like it's not like a pimple, you just get one pimple every now and then. It's like really bad acne. You guys had it. You guys understand oh, my feeling because some people don't understand like when they just get pimples every now and then and they like get so sad. I'm like, really, you're fine. Like no one even notices. So yeah, I'm starting off with primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer and Base. And yeah, I'm also kind of sick. I have been sick for like the past week. It started on like Tuesday. It's Saturday. Saturday. It started on Tuesday, it's Sunday now, and I just like started off with a sneezing. Well, I woke up with a sore throat and like a dry, um, runny nose, just randomly I just woke up with it, and I was like, oh dang it. And so, you know, I didn't do anything about it. Then throughout the day I started sneezing, and then the next day I was sneezing all day, and then the next day coughing started coming on, and now it's just a whole full on cold. I thought it was getting better yesterday because I wasn't like sneezing anymore, but it came back, so yeah. Ooh, my skin's actually doing pretty good right now. It's not too bad. So I'm going in with some foundation. This is a um, CoverGirl one. I don't remember the last time I bought this, so I'm just using up the rest of it. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just like trying out new foundation. So there's literally like barely any left. So I'm literally taking an eyeshadow brush, sticking it in there and like grabbing the rest because your girl broke and she needs to use up every droplet of her makeup. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, let's talk about my personal life. Personal life, I'm still dating my boyfriend. I just haven't posted him on Snapchat in a long time. I feel like ever since I made that Get Ready With Me video and I told you guys that you guys can follow me on Snapchat, which is right here, um, to see more of him. I don't know, I haven't posted him since just because we don't hang up, hang up, hang out as often because he's really busy. And every time we do hang out, I'm like, I'm not thinking, oh my god, let me Snapchat. So, that's just why I don't Snapchat him that often anymore. But we're still dating, we just don't have as much time anymore. So I'm going to blend that in with some beauty blender. I don't know what I was going to say, with a beauty blender. This is actually kind of like more orange than my skin tone, but it's fine. We make it work. Yeah, that's my boyfriend relationship little status update thing. And this week, actually, I'm only having a two and a half day school week, which is so, so exciting. So this video is going to be uploaded like at the end of March. Right now it's like mid-March, but um, this week you guys already would have already seen like my weekend of my life in San Antonio. But I guess if you guys haven't seen that, you guys can click the iCard and watch it. But I haven't been there yet, so I'm going to talk about it now. I don't know I'm complicated so basically this weekend um, or this weekend not this weekend this week on Wednesday afternoon I'm leaving to go to San Antonio because my sister is graduating basic training from the Air Force so I'm super duper excited I'm gonna be vlogging like I said so that video is already up so you guys can go watch it 
but I'm super duper excited. They also have in San Antonio an in and out and I've never had it, so I told my mom we have to go. It's 20 minutes away from the Air Force Base that she's at right now, and I'm just, I'm so excited, y'all. I love me. Oh, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but I've always wanted to try it. Now I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape, and I just realized I haven't blended that down under my nose. I will in a second, but yeah. Um, Tarte Shape Tape. Love this concealer. I want to try the Makeup Revolution because it's a heck of a lot cheaper and people say it's literally like the same thing. But they don't have it in stores and I never get around to buying stuff online. Especially from like Ulta because you got to pay for shipping. Like Amazon Prime, like of course I would have bought it by now. But like Ulta, no. I never have time to be waiting like a week for shipping that you had to pay for. So there's my situation on that. Speaking about buying stuff online, I got a Zaffle bikini. Um, okay, so I got one from Shein and one from Zaffle. I'm not one of those YouTubers that buys like 50 million things to do a video on because again, I'm broke. So um, I got one from Shein and it's really, really cute. If I have time and I feel like I'll put a picture right here because I'm not going to do a haul because again, I didn't get like 50 things to show. But it's really cute and it fits me perfectly and I was so excited. And it's a medium and I thought I was going to have like some major under boob because I don't have big boobs but I do have larger boobs. I don't know. I wear a C, a C cup. But um, yeah, so I was scared like my under boob was going to be showing but honestly, it fits perfectly and I'm super excited the top and the bottom. And then I ordered another one which will picture again will be right here if I have it by then. If not, I'll just show a picture on the website. Um, but that one is from Zaffle and... It is so cute. So I was watching Mia Maples, if you guys know who she is. If not, she's like a YouTuber, kind of like Sophia Nygaard. But um, she kind of does videos similar to her. Uh, I don't know. Like trying up, I don't know. You guys just don't watch her. But she did a Zaffle haul and she showed that bikini and it was so, so cute. It was like white and black and the bottom fit her like really nice. So I wanted it really bad. And I was looking on Zaffle. I have the app on my phone. And it was literally $12.99. And I was like, you know what? I'm getting this. I have $12.99. I want it, but I hope it comes before my spring break trip, and I don't think I've officially announced it on my YouTube channel. I've said I have a spring break trip, but I haven't been saying where it is, so I guess this video is going to um, say it. I'm going to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for spring break. I'm so, so excited. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm in Spanish class, but whenever I hear other people say it, they say Puerto Vallarta, and I'm like, wasn't well, it Puerto Vallarta? I don't know, but... I just say it the Spanish way, I think. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going there and I'm super duper excited. I'm going with my grandma and I think her friend's going to be there. We're staying at her friend's place there and I know a bit of Spanish. So I'm super excited to be able to practice my Spanish and Spanish. Spanish and Spanish culture. This is my first time going outside of the country. I'm just super excited. I have my passport. I have everything I need except for one thing. I need like notarized notes from my parents for me to get out of the country and I'm really nervous that I might get stuck in Mexico. Crossing my fingers, I don't. But my parents need to do that and like it, all, everything was really confused. It wasn't really like well put in like a, a way that I could understand and some of it was in Spanish and so I was like trying to use my Spanish to my best of my ability but it was just, it just wasn't working out. So I just hope that I don't get stuck there. But yeah, I'm baking with some Bin Nye banana powder. Uh, it's actually fake. I got it from Wish like a long time ago, but it works. And also, I ran out of setting powder for the rest of my face, so I kind of just use this on the rest of my face as well. It works, you know? It's fine. I do get oily throughout the day, but you know, it, you gotta use what you got, you know? So, I need to get some more setting powder soon, but for now, we just use some Bin Nye. I don't know what else to talk about. Talk about San Antonio and my spring break trip and my spring break, um... Stuff. Oh, also from Zaffle, not Zaffle, from Shein, I got this little like sheared top. It's too small. It does, it's not too small, but it's a really, really cropped top, and I don't like super duper cropped things if I, unless I have like super duper high waisted things. So, you know, we're just gonna hope that I can make it work with something super high waisted. I don't know. So, now I'm doing my eyebrows. I love doing my eyebrows now that I can actually see every single hair so I can like tweeze them if I need to but it is a lot of work to tweeze them before school especially if I have like tiny tiny little hairs which I always always have so we're gonna try twy <laughs> we're gonna try I talk so weird sometimes I'm sorry we're gonna try and tweeze these real quick so now we're going to brush these out and arch them a little bit better. I did the best I could. Honestly, I could spend more time if I wanted to, but 
Ain't nobody got time to do that. This is the NYX um, professional makeup eyebrow thing. This side is actually not good. Like the, um, the uh, what's this called? Angled side for like dip brow pomade. It's not good because it doesn't really like, it's too soft. It's not firm enough. So what I use for that, first I use the spoolie set to brush it out. First of all, this was like $10, and I didn't know, and I spent $10 on it because I was stupid. But I used this brush. It's really nasty, but it's from Wet n Wild. And then I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And before I got my contacts, oh, I should do a contacts update, y'all. Before I got them, though, I thought this was my color, and it's definitely not. This is ebony. I definitely need, like, black because this is, like, brown, and it's, like, my eyebrows are not brown. They're not dark brown. They're black. But I felt like a dark brown will make, not make them look so intense, but, like... It's a completely different color. It doesn't look good. But it's okay. I still use it. <laughs> but I have, like, so much left. It's not like I can, like... Not like I can, like... It's not like I'm gonna use it up real quick and then, like, replace it. No, it takes forever. How long does this last? Six months. I think I've definitely had it longer for six months. But I don't... I, why does it expire in six months? It's eyebrow product. Like, it, it's fine. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um... Oh, contacts update. So, I've had my contacts. Well, I gotta focus when I do my eyebrows. Let me do these and then I'll talk about my contacts real quick. Eyebrows are done. Doesn't actually look too bad. Um, I have had my contacts now. I got them. I don't know when I got them. I don't know. I got them in February sometime. Because it wasn't in January. It was in February sometime. Like after Valentine's Day. And now... It's March, middle March, it's the 17th or 18th, it's the 18th today, so, yep, and I love them, it took me a while to get used to them, like, the first week of wearing them, I was definitely, like, I cannot see better than I can with my glasses, because that's what these are supposed to do, they're hard contact lenses, I've talked about it so many times, I'll go ahead and link up in the eye, I think it's on this side, or, I think it's on this side, I don't know, I'll link it in the eye, like, my playlist of everything, that I have about my keratoconus and everything. So I do have keratoconus and um, hard contact lenses are great for patients with keratoconus because they smooth out the cornea and make vision better. So my vision is definitely way, way better than it is with my glasses. It's insane. Before, if I close my left eye and I use my right eye, I can't tell how many fingers I'm pointing up. But now, oh my God, it's insane. I can see how many fingers I'm pointing up. I can read really, really large letters. Like, I can read the um, straps on my camera that says Nikon. It's not huge, but I can read it with my right eye. It's crazy. My right eye has always been my bad eye. And now that I can see out of it, it's insane. I could see out of it before, but it was just really, really blurry. And, like, I couldn't read shit. So now I can, I can actually read, like, bigger things. It's awesome. And then my left eye is at 2025. So it's not 2020, but it's close there. It's getting close, y'all. So I'm super duper excited about everything. So I just used um, on my face this jelly pong pong illuminizer stuff i don't know it's from my ipsy bag and then i just set that with some mac powder and now i'm going to like neutralize it i guess with my beauty blender blender because it is kind of a lot i don't want to be looking cray cray also today i'm getting ready to film and i'm also doing something later today but this is like the main reason why i did my makeup is because i'm filming and i haven't done my makeup like in a long time did i tell you guys that i haven't done my makeup in a long time like ever since i got my contacts i've just been like wearing like mascara and foundation and that's all i've been wearing foundation because like my skin has been really bad but other than that it's been like very natural some days i don't wear any makeup at all it's nice i'm also now going in with blush from tarte in the shade <laughs> okay let's try that again some blush from Tarte in the shade Party. So what do you guys think? I know this is like an old news, but I know Tarte had the whole Shape Tape Foundation and the whole controversy with it. And, um, you know, people with darker skin tones were not included. People of color were not included. And um, I'm the kind of person that, okay, I'm not going to buy that, obviously, because they don't have my skin tone. That doesn't mean I'm not going to use the products I already have or, like, throw them away because um, of something they did. Um, it doesn't mean I support them. It doesn't mean I don't support them. But I just... I'm not going to waste my Tarte Shape to Concealer that was $22 or my blush that was actually free because it was on the Ipsy bag or something like that. So that's how I feel about it. Obviously, I do think they need to be more inclusive. Every makeup brand does. Now, apparently, Kim Kardashian um, put out a brand of concealers and she doesn't have like really dark inclusive. It's not all inclusive. So 
I mean, it is a problem in a society, and it's sad that it's 2018, and it's taking brands, it's still like brands don't realize that there's darker people in the world. Luckily, I'm not that dark. I am, I'm not super dark. I don't have problems like people that are super dark do, like people that are shades on my boyfriend who's super dark. You know, it's, it's not like that, but it is still a problem, even though I, it's not my problem. It's people that are in my family, they have problems with it. So, yeah, that's my kind of take on it. Now, I'm contouring with a darker shade of powder. I honestly don't do this often, so I'm, this is a really light, it's not even contouring, it's like bronzing. I don't know. And is that all? Oh wait, and then, for a more natural eyeshadow look, what I've been doing recently, I don't even have primer right now, y'all. So I'm taking the same bronzer that I used for my face and I'm going to take this brush. It's a really nice little fluffy brush. Picking up the powder and then I'm just putting it in my face. So let me show y'all. This is a good tip also if you're traveling so you can like use two things. I mean one thing for two things. So it's better if you put concealer on your eyelids. Apparently I didn't do that today. But there we go. It just gives you a natural little look. And then you can also use your highlighter and put that in the lid, on the lid. So it looks like really nice, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. There. Okay. Now, is that all? Mascara. For mascara, my eyelashes are actually pretty long, so I don't like doing like much to them. I don't put flash lashes on. So I normally curl them because they're super duper straight. And then I take my bully brush I use on my eyebrows and I just brush out my eyelashes so they're not clumped and sometimes this is all I do because sometimes mascara with contacts is a struggle because sometimes mascara will just like drop in my eye or like it's clump will just drop in my eye and it, it's not fun so um I sometimes just brush them out like this and call it a day here I'll show you guys in a second like that they look pretty good or if I want to go above and beyond I'll put on my I put on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, y'all. This is amazing. It doesn't clump. Well, sometimes it does, but if it does clump, I just brush out the clumps and it's fine. It has a tiny wand, so it, it's not prone to clumping, and then it makes my lashes look so long. So let's do this. And I like lengthening mascara. It's better than voluminizing. Voluminizing, I can't speak English, <laughs> just because it makes my lashes look a little better. So yeah. There we go. Mascara is on. And I think that is all. I did mascara, chapstick. I think that's everything. So I meant to show you guys my favorite songs, but I completely forgot. So I'm just going to sit here and show you guys some of my current favorite songs. You guys can follow me on Apple Music. It's just at Ashley Tobin. I got my real name on that. I'm so excited. I'm tired of having like not just Ashley Tobin, but no, everyone has to have that taken, even though my name is super unique. But, um, yeah, I have a playlist. The one I'm going to show you with you guys right now is just called Current Phase. But I have a lot of them on there, so you guys can go check them out. So I'm just going to play a couple of my favorite songs. This one I just found yesterday. It was on my boyfriend's playlist, and I was like, wait, this song's lit. So, it's Freaky Friday by Lil Dicky. I've never heard of him, and it's featuring Chris Brown. It's so good, y'all. I woke up Chris Breezy. Oh, my God, I'm the man. Oh, I'm so flying, I can dance. Oh, I just face I'm flying. You pussy ass yes, nigga, man fuck y'all niggas Cause I'm that nigga, 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 nigga I'm that nigga I woke up in Chris Brown's body So hard this shit turned into Freaky Friday This one's lit, um, it's really good And then Post Malone has a new song, I think this is new I don't know, it's called Psycho I woke up, man my name so goddamn cold Demi Lovato, her new album, which is actually not new anymore, it's kind of old, but this one. Don't tell me you love me, I need someone, on days like this I do, on days like this, oh, can you hear my heart say? Could do one more.
songs on that playlist if you guys want to see like a full video of them i can but i feel weird just kind of sitting here jamming to my music i feel like i look weird i don't know the lyrics like any songs no matter how often i listen to it i never know the words so if i was singing the wrong lyrics that's why um but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video catching up with me if you did give it a thumbs up also comment down your spring comment down comment down below your spring break plans i want to know let me know where you're going or if you're just working or when it is and everything like that i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully i'm staying consistent on wednesday okay bye y'all i've been up all week not getting any sleep trying to read the signs i don't know how much more I can take How much longer I can wait Before I lose my mind You, for heaven's sake, you take